hello all welcome back to the blink iot video series in this video we'll see how to use sim 800l to connect with blink cloud we'll be using arduino you know this arduino you know doesn't have any wi-fi facility so we'll be using sim 800l for connecting with the blink cloud this sim 800l uh, has got a sim slot where you can place a valid sim in India, this uh, Geo SIM will not work. All other SIM will work. Airtel, Vodafone, BSNL, all others will work. This has got a spring antenna soldered and uh, pins are soldered so you can easily plug it onto breadboard. For uh, power source, we'll be using 3.7 volt LiPo battery. It has got a 2.6 amps capacity. So this uh, uh, GSM uh, requires a power source from 3.5 to 4.3 volt. We'll be using male to male jumper wire. First let us connect the ground to the uh, top end of the top row of uh, breadboard. In Arduino Uno we'll be using uh, uh, software serial D2 SRX and uh, D3 STX. First let us connect uh, Rx of uh, Arduino to Tx of GSM. This is direct connection and then we will make the grounds common. That is ground of sim 800L and uh, ground of uh, Arduino Uno are made common. And Rx of sim 800L, it should go to Tx of uh, Arduino Uno. But uh, as there is a level uh, difference, that is uh, only up to 3.7 to 4.3 volt it will tolerate so we'll be using a level shifter a series of 4k7 and uh, across 10k resistor so through that resistor we'll be connecting rx of sim 800 l to tx of arduino and uh, we are connecting an led at d8 of uh, arduino you know this led we are going to control from blink app so this is the final connection now let us provide the power 3.7 volt to sim 800 l that is the pin below the antenna pin now watch the led built-in led initially it will go or glow once per second it means it is searching for network once it receives the network it bring blinks once per three second that is the blinking will become slower when network is received now it is ready for operation let us provide the usb cable for to arduino you know from pc and uh, let us uh, see the blink app we'll be using old app as new blink app is not much user friendly touch on new project and uh, provide a project name and then choose device as uh, arduino you know as we are using arduino you know uh, choose that hardware and uh, connection type instead of wi-fi we'll be selecting gsm bluetooth and ble are there are there are also there but uh, it is for only local area network so here we are using gsm touch on ok and then touch create now authorized token will be sent to your authorized email id now let us see the code go to file uh, inside arduino id file examples and then blink for this we, you should have installed the blink library already and select the sample code uh, tiny gsm sim 800 l sim 800 so inside this code uh, at the top we have to define the uh, device that is uh, sim 800 we are using so define the device already it is uh, defined and all others are commented and next uh, two header files are included one is tiny gsm client dot h and next one is blink simple tiny gsm this uh, is, uh, for this you have to in install the tiny gsm library through sketch install library and manage libraries already through this we have installed the blink library now search for tiny gsm and then select the tiny gsm library select the latest version and uh, click on install now this uh, header file is uh, recognized inside the code so we use two libraries blink library and then 
tiny gsm library so this two header files uh, one is from tiny gsm library another one is from blink next is the authorization code which is centered inside the uh, char uh, array variable for this you have to go to your uh, uh, authorized email and check for the uh, authorized id you received from the blink app uh, copy that uh, code and paste it here and then the gprs uh, credentials uh, this is very important that is the apn access point name you have to uh, feed in i am using airtel uh, sim so i am searching for airtel apn uh, name under airtel apn settings uh, the apn name it shows as uh, airtelgprs.com that is the apn for uh, airtel sim airtelgprs.com username is uh, empty and password is also empty so copy this name airtelgprs.com and then paste it here in the uh, apn char array variable uh, username is empty and uh, password is also empty and then un uh, this comment out this uh, serial at uh, definition as yes, we are going to use arduino you know Uh, comment this and then uncomment this software serial dot h. So we create an object serial at by defining the pins d two as r x and uh, d three as t x in software serial, and then we assign this serial at for the operation of the modem uh, through tiny gsm class, and inside the void setup serial dot begin is at nine thousand six hundred baud. and for a short serial also we'll change it to 9600 baud and uh, delay is also very important and then modem dot uh, uh, restart we can also use init function here it, uh, modem dot restart is used and blink dot begin will use the parameters to connect with the blink cloud through the uh, apn and uh, username and password we we are given inside while loop only blink dot run uh, function is there now select the uh, hardware as arduino you know and uh, com port and click on upload once uploaded open the serial monitor and select the baud rate as 9600 you can see the modem is being initialized and wait for uh, some seconds and it will be connecting to the airtel network and connecting to airtelgprs.com that is gprs being started once uh, it is started it will connect to the blink cloud and you will get ready and you can notice the led on uh, sim 800 it will blink 3 times per second that is very fast that means it is operating on gprs now let us go to the blink app and add a button for controlling the led touch on the button uh, widget and then uh, provide a name and select output pin as uh, digital d8 as we are connected uh, led at uh, d8 we'll be selecting this uh, digital pin and mode as switch now let us uh, test the app now touch on play button on uh, touching on the film button you can see the project is online now let us test the project touch on the uh, button on button the led will go on again touch on that led will go off and the status will be updated on the uh, blink app uh, you can see the led on the sim 800 is uh, glowing very fast blinking that is 3 uh, times per uh, second indicating that the gprs is in action and also the action of uh, led on off will be bit slower compared to wifi thank you for watching